For more about the drug war in Mexico, we are joined tonight by Rodolfo de la Garza. He is a member of the Council on Foreign Relations and a professor of political science at Columbia University. Professor, thank you so much for being with us tonight. At the start of the year, we were hearing regularly about an extraordinary level of drug violence in Mexico, but not recently. Has the violence dropped significantly? Not obviously, no. It's, it is going on. It is widespread. It's in 18 states in Mexico now, apparently. Uh, you've had some recent atrocious murders, horrible murders. You had a major battle in Cuernavaca, which is a, one of the great vacation cities of Mexico, with the Navy going in to attack the, uh, the traffickers. So the violence is still there. The Army and now the Navy. Would you say that the government is winning in its crackdown on drug dealers? It depends on how you define it. It's managed to kill or, or have arrested uh, some of the major leaders, but these organizations take on many forms. They split off. There's competition for new leadership. As long as there's a market, which is fundamentally a U.S. market, there's a demand. As long as there's a demand, there's a lot of money. So on one level, it's, it's made advances. Is it winning? I don't think so, not yet. We saw that one woman in the report who was very annoyed and frustrated with the soldiers for having to go through so many checkpoints in a five-minute period. Does this uh, drug war enjoy popular support? No, I don't think so. The, the drug war is exposing the public to a lot of uh, military invasions, shootings, uh, innocent people get killed as the narcos try to escape arrests. Um, the, as we said, it's, it's spread all over the country now. And when the military has to stop you and check you, you're feeling it on a personal level. There have been reports of, of horrible crimes where the narco killers go into drug rehab centers and kill everybody in the center. And the motivation for that is puzzling. I mean, you know, we're going to teach you not to get rid of a drug addiction. I don't know. So it's, it's not a popular um, war. The Obama administration has pledged to help the Mexican government with its war on drugs. Has it delivered on those promises? And if so, what effect does it have? It's beginning to. It sent down, I think, 18 uh, helicopters. I may be wrong on the number, but it sent down a very substantial number of helicopters to aid in, in attacks. Uh, interestingly, it's working on the border, and the Mexican side is also now checking people coming into Mexico in a way they did not ever used to check. So the two of them working together are, are trying, and that's largely in response to Obama. Now, you mentioned this in passing. Can the war on drugs in Mexico be won unless consumption in the U.S. falls? It's impossible. We are the market for their drugs. Uh, as I, it is amazing. Maine, the state of Maine, is on the drug main line now. So if the drugs are going all the way across Mexico, all the way up the U.S. to Maine, you're, you're getting a sense of how big an organization this is. Uh, if we're consuming and selling the weapons to the narcos to fight, uh, we have to do our share, and we really have not done our share. All right. Professor Rodolfo de la Garza, thank you very much for being with us tonight. My pleasure.